everyone and welcome welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are all having the most incredible day if this is your first time on my channel my name is sebastian and i welcome you guys with open arms i do pop culture videos every single day so if you're looking for the latest in reality tv influencer tea pop culture or housewife tea honey i got you Grab a snack and a drink. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Yes, girl, we are still. You guys can see Miami. I'm in Miami, bitch. But we are leaving. Okay, so videos will go up as normal with my with my uh, background tomorrow or the next day, bitch. Um. Anyways, so we got to talk about Lisa Rinna. And you guys remember that, uh, what is it called? A Manilo? A Vanillo? Uh, girl, she brought out a folder. In the beginning, when they were all sitting down uh, to do the, um, did you get take the key? Yeah. Okay. Um, fire Rena. What? Hashtag Fire Rena. Why? Girl, he left. Um, you guys know that folder, right? So this is her. Here, I'll show you. It's her right here, right? And she had that. And Andy was like, "Ooh, girl, she brought you know the receipts." And then somebody on Instagram, shout out to All About the All About Truth, um, posted this that somebody actually DM'd Lisa Rinna and asked, "Hey Lisa, here, let me show you. Um, hey Lisa, whatever happened to the envelopes you had at the reunion? Did they come out, or did they, or did someone come in and tell you not you can't use them?" And then she responded, and said, "They edited out. I used them. I had them out. Andy looked at them, and it was a whole thing cut right out." And then she, and then the person said, "Of course they did. You looked gorgeous, and you held your ground." So I guess that was from Maddie, um, D O N Y. Anyways, you guys. Then um, there's another story that one of the like someone in production came out and said. Breaking receipts brought to the Real House of Beverly Hills taping by reality star Lisa Rinna were cut out of the th of the show's three part reunion special because they were irrelevant and lacking a substantial foundation. The receipts were said to have fallen flat by sources close to production. So, um, honestly, look, I'm not even surprised to be very honest with you because look, Lisa Rinna, she came out all like you know proud and happy to have those damn receipts, but it was like, girl. There is no receipts. There is, you, I just, first of all, cannot even believe that, like, Lisa Rinna is still on this damn show. But anyways, moving forward, girl, there is no other receipts that she can actually give. Because she is, she is a receipt. Like, her behavior, herself, her personality, her words, her thoughts, she is a walking receipt of her awfulness, right? Girl, hang on. Cut, time out, bitch. I just had a public sub. Now, if you guys don't know, I was born in Miami, right? They have. If you guys have ever come, I guess to the, I, I know there's publixes in other cities. I was going to say countries. Other cities and states. But listen, if you're ever at a Publix, get you the chicken tender sub, okay? Just wanted to let you guys know because I felt like there was someone out there who needed to know this. And I yeah, I had half of one. It was delicious. Anyways, back to Rena. Girl, you know I got you. I just had to give that little recommendation. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. So, Lisa Rena is a walking receipt of awfulness, right? I really have to, like, wonder, and I really do wonder, like, when she's not, like, in character, because I believe she is a character. She thinks she is Billy from Days of Our Lives. When she is not in a character, right, I wonder how she is, because she, she posts this, like, dancing videos, annoying Harry all the time and stuff, but I wonder how Lisa Rinna is. Like, I wonder a friend that's not in the public eye calls her up and says, hey, girl, so, you know, um, I'm having some issues, you know, little, little Brenda doesn't want to go to college, and, you know, um, Mike, you know, he's having trouble with his wife, and, you know, they're not really, Nancy doesn't let me see my grandbabies, and, you know, my husband, he doesn't look at me the same way. Like, a friend... That's not in the public eye when, when they hang out with Lisa Rinna. How is she? Like, I'm so curious to see how Lisa Rinna is in public. Like, how is she? You know? I'm so incredibly curious about that. Because Lisa Rinna, all she shows on social media, on Instagram, on reunions, on Beverly Hills, on all of these things, it's like... She is this, like, character. I wonder how she is in person. 
And I have to tell, I got this, I got this comment the other day that I kind of, it's been in the back of my mind. If I find it, I'll post it, but I, it, I don't even know which video it was, but it really did pop out. It was like, this Lisa Renna fan, and they didn't understand why people were so hateful towards Lisa. And that, what could Lisa actually do to actually get, you know, back in the public's, you know, good grace. Um, the fact that, you know, and no shade to you if you're watching this video, um, the fact that you don't see the things that Lisa Rinna has done, I think it's part of the problem, but it's not your fault, you know? People sometimes are blinded by who they love, you know? Um, I have to tell you that I think the best way for Lisa Rinna to get back in the good graces of people is maybe, honestly, to just come clean about everything, you know? Look, we all mess up. We are all humans. Like, I have a tea channel where I you know, talk about other people, but I always try, I mean, sometimes I let my, ang my, my, not anger, but my, my, um, enthusiasm of spilling tea get in the way, but I completely understand that these people are human beings, the people that we talk about, you know, and I often want to remind myself to put myself in their shoes, what can I do to, to be better, to, to learn, you know, because no one is perfect, I've done some fucked up shit, bitch, you know, and if I was on a reality show, I'd probably get canceled too, right, but, I would probably say that the best thing that someone can do is just to come clean about stuff, to really just sit there and be like, you know what, going back to the Yolanda thing, the Mus M Munchausen, the, the Kim Richards thing, the Lisa Vanderpump thing, the, the everyone thing, uh, going back and just talking about things and being like, wow, man, I was a fucking asshole. Like, look, I did that the other day. I met a, a friend that we hadn't talked in a really long time, years. And we talked about, like, the past and stuff. And I was like, you know, I look back at the Sebastian that I was once when I was, you know, in my teens, early 20s, whatever. And I look back and I'm like, oh, my God, I was such a little shit. You know, I was so selfish. I was only thinking about myself. You know, it was only me, me, me. And now I look back and I'm like, I don't recognize that person. And I think that's about growing. So if Lisa Rinna maybe has that kind of moment that just is human for a second. Because we don't really see the human side. We don't see it. And if she tries to do the human side, it's stained by the character, Lisa Rinna, you know? So I don't know. Maybe just having a sit down with all the people that she's hurt. Like, I think that would be so refreshing to be like, look, man, I'm sorry, but I, I didn't have a storyline that season, bitch. I needed to do something and I apologize, you know? Yeah, it could be digging your own grave, but at the same time, man, I think it would be very brave and I think it would show people that, hey, we're just human because some people, when they watch these reality shows, like myself, I include myself, we forget that these people are human beings. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you guys. I'm so grateful for each and every one of you. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.